Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Goals Bible. Final whistle, Chelsea nail, Fulham nail. What a disappointing result for Chelsea. I mean, it's, it's a huge, huge disappointment uh, for Chelsea. I mean, that is it. What can you say? I mean, they have a lot of different players, but somehow they just can't put the team together uh, to, to create some kind of momentum going into the latter stages of the season. Of course, they bought a lot of players. They, they invested a lot of money. Question marks are definitely going to come for Grand Potter. But look, I mean, I saw the whole game today and there's nothing to see. I mean, they look good in certain parts, but all in all, I don't think I don't think they have a proper striker. I mean, they don't have a striker. Let's put it that way. I mean, Havertz is not a striker. And I think that's the reason why this all offensive players are struggling because Havertz up front is just can't do it. He just can't do it. He is the guy that can play behind the striker. He's not an out and out number nine. And I think because of that, Chelsea are struggling. And I, I really don't understand why Grand Potter is not making a change uh, because of that. I mean, uh, looking at the table here, look, this result means Chelsea stay ninth with 21 games played, 30 points. Fulham is actually above Chelsea. How do you explain that? I mean, how do you explain that? So this is just not good enough. Chelsea and Graham Potter have got a lot of work to do. And Fulham were outstanding, but Chelsea were just toothless in the attack. Um, obviously, the away end now, there's just a party going on in the away end. Fulham fans are celebrating. They are saluting their players, and rightly so. I mean, it's an outstanding team performance from uh, Marco Silva's side but special mention has to go and should go to Paulinha, William and uh, Reem and Tete. I mean they were superb today. They were superb today but Chelsea huge huge question marks on Grand Potter and we'll see what happens in the next uh, in, in their next game but who do you think was your man of the match? I thought Enzo Fernandez played played okay in this match. He did have some passes that were uh that were not right, uh, but he did miss uh, some passes. But all in all, I think it was a solid game from him, especially coming just a day before and, and playing 90 minutes here. I think he deserves a uh, matter of the match. But yeah, do let me know in the comment sections. Uh, what do you think about Chelsea? Where are they going with this with this manager? And do you think they can actually finish in the top four? Let me know in the comment sections. Uh, and that is it, people. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.